Hello everybody, it's me, and it is time for a very, very interesting doodle. And I had just recorded, I was doing one battle on stream, and my quick strike did not kill an awakened Mothra at 20%, so I left the game and ended stream. I thought it was funny, then I got bullied, but anyway, today, we're going to be checking out Finwick, which is actually the new doodle that has been introduced in today's update. And a lot of people might be wondering, how do you find it? If you want to find it, you find it on Route 1 at Sketchvale near the bridge water. And that's how you get it. You just go fishing there. And it's, it's the only encounter there, so it's really, really easy to chain. And <clears throat> another thing that I wanted to talk about is how to get the moves you want on Finwick. It's really simple. To get a move that you want in Finwick, it gets, it, Finwick gets one move called Study. It will permanently copy a move that the user, that the enemy has last used. So if the enemy uses a Fireball, then I use Study on the next turn, or the turn that he used Fireball, I will then learn Fireball permanently in my move set. So essentially, Finwick can learn any move in the entire game, which makes it completely unpredictable. You will literally never know what this thing is going to be until it uses a move, so you can never know how to effectively play around it, which gives it that element of surprise. And if you want to give it all the moves that you want, the easiest way to do it is use the bot battler and use your own bot. Get a doodle that has the move that you want, give it the frozen TV dinner item, and then um, wait until it uses um, one of the moves that you want. Which, let's say I'm using Squonk and I want to give it armor break, I'm going to wait till Squonk uses armor break, then I'm going to use study to grab it, and then I'm going to end the battle. But, after all of that, let's hop into the set. Now, Today, I think it's gonna be a bit interesting. Today, I have Magical Attack and Speed with the trait Concentrated. This doodle's concentration is intense, preventing it from flinching. Now, I don't think this ability is good at all, and the other ability I think is even worse. It's uh, Fish Out of Water, which is basically you heal 10% of your health under rain. So it's basically healthy toxins, but just for rain. But I don't think that's a good ability at all and concentrated actually works as kind of its own thing rather than a team centralized ability which is kind of what fish out of water is um and then we also have the item determination jelly now i think with finwick there's a lot of different things that you can actually use for this thing and i'm going to be using an armor break set but i like to say before i get into it that these moves are subjected to change and i'm going to explain which ones you can change for what okay now here with the moves, I have Armor Break, Blessed Blade, Psycho Force, and Mythic Blast. Yes, I have Mythic Blast. If you are wondering how to get this move, to get this move, you have to fight the Wish Z Battle Bot and just pray the Exile uses Mythic Blast on you. That's it. But, and basically, this is one of the moves that is subject to change. I want to use Mythic Blast because I think it's fun and I want to give it a try. But I think that the better move combination used here is Forest Fire, which helps you against your plant matchup, which also pairs well with Psycho Force when going up against metal types and crystal types. So I think if you want to use a way better version of this set, you should use Forest Fire over Mythic Blast. Then we have Blessed Blade, which pairs incredibly well with Armor Break, because after the Armor Break, we're going to get six stat increases, which gets our Blessed Blade up to a whopping 140 base power, which is really, really strong. Then we have Psycho Force, which is nice because it's able to cover against light or, or crystal types that are that Blessed Blade and Mythic Blast are not able to hit. And I think one problem with this is that you are walled by metal types, which is, again, a reason you would want to run Forest Fire. But you can also run Earth Surge, Forest Fire over Psycho Force and uh, Mythic Blast. But I like the idea of Psycho Force and Forest Fire. But yeah. And with equipments here, we have just Smoldering Hood, Sticky Pendant, and Stick. Basically, we want to have as much attack as we can. And what's cool about this is you actually do not need any speed investment to outspeed the entire game to um with one with one armor break. Then we also have Determination Jelly. The only weakness that I see of Finwick and this specific set is priority users. So you want to be very careful of those because once you armor break, you're going to die in one hit because look, you have 35 defenses each with 60 health. You don't use a thing defensively. Please don't use it defensively. It's terrible defensively. But anyway, that's a lot of talking. Hopefully you all enjoy. And without further ado, let's hop into the first battle. Bloop. Okay, and here we go into the first battle. Now, I think first what we have to do is analyze what doodles can have priority and which ones could possibly outspeed us. What I'm looking at here is we have the possibility of Hibiscus being a very scary thing to deal with. Janeko being very annoying because it can easily set up um, <clears throat> Beast Summon. Um, so I'm a little bit annoyed, I won't lie, at the Janeko. 
because it could honestly one shot my entire team and my ways of dealing with it are pretty limited um we could go jira as a lead just to try to um get rid of its determination jelly because i don't have my libelagua i probably should add libelagua over glubby um but let's see here okay they go for they have the wish for power they're going to get a magical attack increase they can easily go for a psycho force but then i'm relying on my cursed cloak to tank it and then we're just relying on a lot of stuff here let's hemlock hit just hopefully i'm good here are we chilling are we gonna be chilling they boo actually okay beautiful okay so hmm if, it, if that is shadow lurk then that's what's annoying right but what if that's wind what is air current i don't know like i really want to keep jira but i don't know what i want to get rid of but I know it's Determination Jelly. There's no way it's not. So Springling is free to come in. They want a Psycho Force, maybe. I could maybe go into Globby, but that takes way too much. Um, this Geneco is just annoying. It's either I sack off Jira and struggle against... I mean, I don't really struggle against that much. I mean, I guess I could just kill it. I don't need Jira, actually. Oh, let's go! He got a high roll, then a low roll. We're chilling. Okay, we're chilling. This is why... This is why we always take risks. You don't know if they're going to pay off or not. I'm worried about Seraphin, though. Because I'm going to have to spam Dark Slash and Wolf Freeze if I want to do something with it. They go into Viscous. So I can go into Voltaire here. We're going to get all of our health back. We're going to get to about here in our health, which is really nice. Wind Shear. Take very, very, very reduced damage. So here we're going to go for an easy hit and run. That shows that they are Ruby. And it looks like that they are... It, they look like they're rare, their air current. Jira, Zara, Zara. Um, no, they could, I can't set up with the... I can't set up with with Finwick. Um, they know I want a Psycho Force. They can go Seraphin, which can wall me very, very well. They can also go into Irakil. I think here I Goo Blast. Because they go, they they know they can go Seraphim, but they can also go either, either one works. Oh, nice! They get the huge Goo Blast off. Nice. We get the Goo Blast off. We get a magical defense increase. We go for a Goo Blast. Boom! A lot of your health is now gone. Um, Expectorate's definitely going to be coming out here. I think I have to go into Voltatu, but he can also Venom Lacerate, which is a which is a crazy move. Expectorate. He actually poisoned me there, which is kind of upsetting. But hey, he can now Shadow Lurk, which will end up getting him a kill, which now I'm going to lose to Humbiscus if I don't have Wolf Freeze alive during this endgame. I can also use Glubby against Humbiscus, I guess, which is also good for Goo Blasts. So I'm going to get Shadow Lurk here, and that's fine. I can always go into I'm, what I'm looking at is Wolf Freeze, which is a really nice crunch onto his entire team. The crunch is good up until Seraphin exists. So let's crunch. It's funny that I'm quick ice, even though it doesn't really matter. I mean, they can go Sarah. How much is this doing? Uh, 28. They want an icy bite. 100% they want an icy bite. I might have to make the play of Finwick, but I don't know. If I make the play of Finwick, I have to rely that I have speed Humbiscus, and it's not uh, using Vitality. It's a risk. I might want to take it. <clears throat> Their Iron Slash. Okay, so we're... We also reveal maybe if it's a Rip Current or not. She looks rusty here. Is it Rip Current or no? I feel like I could have... Okay, it's just faster than me. That's all. Okay, let's go into it. Finwick. Come on, bud. Let's Armor Break. Come on, Finwick. You got this. Get your armor rig off for free, man. Come on. I don't know what they're trying to say. Oh my god. Please get magical defense increase. Magical, 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 magical. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That is okay. That is okay. That is fine. That is completely okay. Okay, 
Now the question is, do we want a Mythic or do we want a Blast? I think Mythic might be a bit better because of his defense increase. So let's Mythic Blast here. <sighs> mythic Blast, come on, do huge damage, please. Please do big damage, please. Can we kill Awakened Skidding with uh, uh, Finwick? Come on, Awakened Skidding kill with Finwick. We're not gonna kill it in one shot, obviously. That did absolutely no damage. Um, I'm gonna bless Blade now. This might do a bit more. Okay. <laughs> Whoo! We hit a kill. Oh, okay. Yeah, low low offenses is hard to use. So it's rush. This does not outspeed us. It should not be able to outspeed us. I mean, I bless Blade. Oh, it's rip. Your rip current with rush? No, Finwick. I'm honestly not sure how the heck I'm gonna win this game. <clears throat> I really don't know what I'm gonna do. I might have to just clutch out with Glubby and spam Hex at this point. Unless they lingering here. That'd be crazy. Lingering there is a crazy move. Um there's just Psycho Horse. They're not gonna go Eric Kill and Goo Blast. Okay, <laughs> what the heck am I gonna do? I mean, Springling is insane right now. It's able to kill this, it's able to kill this. If they go Seraphin, they're throwing. They have to go into Irakil. If they go Seraphin, they're messing, the they're, they're throwing. Okay, they needed to go Irakil there. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do. This is tough. I think I just have to die. I have to die here. I think Springling has to come in. No? It, or is it Wolf Freeze? Shoot! No, I can't go Wolf. No, I might have to go Wolf Freeze. No, no, I don't think I win in general. No, I need to rely on Springling's Quick Strike to kill Hibiscus, but at this point, I don't think it will. Leaf Blade. I would need a, I, I would need to have been Lethal Ornament uh, Wolf Freeze here to win the game. Which is kind of upsetting. <laughs> oh, is he messing up? Or are you Jet Strike for whatever reason? Oh, he messed up. He messed up. Sick. Well, this is Icy Bite. I never want to stay in against it. I, I leaf blade. I know kills, so you. I know I outspeed you too. I'm surprised I ended up winning that, because before actually no, did I just in general win no matter what? Because of how strong Springling was there. Leaf blade. I, I should outspeed and I should kill. Nice, GG. Whew! Jeez, that got close. Thank you, Sling. Okay, now. Again, let us identify the possible priority users this game. So we have a possibility of Shadow Lurk, possibly Quick Ice, possibility of Fast Food, and maybe Quick Strike, maybe Rip Current, maybe Subterfuge. They can all have priority. I forgot to grab Level Agua, but hey, whatever. Uh, let's go with this. Okay, that's not horrible, actually. Very, very solid lead for me. And I also outspeed you, so there's no way you're going to want to stay in. You're going to go into your Taruma, probably, so let's hit and run. We should be chilling though. They're definitely. They would never want to stay, which then means we get those spinning, which is a free KO. You know, it's kind of crazy that Screening just gets a free kill every time they get someone field. Usually, if they don't have ways to beat it. I mean, I guess that makes sense in general. I want to get Finwick to do something though, because it's a little difficult because of how frail it is. Let's play, bud. Mind moving. Hey. There's a button to click moves. So he stays in, which is surprising. So you would go for Vampiric, and my Dark Resist is uh, Casperly. Oh. Okay, so we just lost all of our health for no reason when we could have just killed this thing. 
Nice. Okay. Fun. We're dealing with this now. Fine. Fine, fine. If you want to stay in and sacrifice your Horbies when I could have just clicked Thunderstrike. Sure. 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 I need to remember that people are dumb. Oh, he crits. Sick. Uh, okay. A little annoying. We lose Voltatu because of that. I would have loved it to deal with Taruma a bit easier. But hey, I guess I don't get to have nice things. Uh, I'm, af I'm very afraid of the Taruma, actually. If Taruma comes in, I need to go spring the immediate rumbling charge. But no, then I get outsped after that. Then I get Shield Blast and I'm dead. Gloobie's gonna have to win. Gloobie's gonna have to beat the, the Taruma. Glacigash comes in. So this is definitely gonna want to go for a... Oh, shit. <laughs> Just too much. Oh, God. It's gonna quick ice me. I might outspeed it, actually. Let me quick, let me quick strike. At this point, I don't really know what to do. Because I lost my Voltatu immediately. And I would have absolutely adored to keep it around. Go we'll Freeze. Well, Freeze is also really, 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 really strong. Let's Crunch. Those are the two guaranteed priority users. No, not guaranteed. Though That is one of the priority users dead. So, all I need to do now is somehow get Finwick on the field and doing stuff. I go melt them off. I could sack this off, go into it. You know? It's, it's all about Finwick, man. All about you, Finwick. Let's go, bud. Let's go. I'm down to risk it all for Finwick when I should have had my Voltatu alive and healthy right now. But no, 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 I don't get to have nice things. Let's armor break. Please switch out. No way that you're clicking heat bash, right? Okay. This is good. This is good. All I would have to do is outspeed it. But I don't think I do. Um, We're going to bless blade here. Blessed Blade. We don't know if it is uh, yeah, Feral. Okay. He has fast food on Meltema, guaranteed. And he also has Shadow Lurk on the Irakil. I feel like right there was such a good opportunity to go crazy, right? Um, is that also a Quick Strike? Are you Quick Strike? Oh my god. Man's got everything he needs to beat stuff like me. So rude. Quick strike. Ooh, that's probably Shadow Lurk. That's probably if I, everyone has priority. It's crazy. Not everything on your team needs to have priority, but it's appreciated. It's not bad to have it. Yeah, I'm gonna win either way. I'm pretty sure. I mean, actually, no. If they go Melty, then Glubby's gonna have to tank two hits from it, and it's definitely Ruby. I don't think Glubby tanks two hits from this. But then I have to Goo Blast. Yeah. And then now I'm gonna have to rely on Crunch. Actually, no, Crunch should kill Melty, right? And then I outspeed Irakil and I can Crunch it. Yeah, you're definitely Ruby. He's saying GG early. GG for me. Good game. Boost my attack. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nope. Sorry. He wants to win. He didn't earn it. Good game. GG. Good game. Good game. You know, again, the weakness of this thing is just priority users, right? That's it. I am paused by accident, but hey, I guess I can think of a story while I wait for my cue. I was typing to someone, so let's think of a fun story. Um, oh, 
So I went to a, a group meeting with one of my friends and I had never been to one of her specific group meetings. So I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Okay, what does he have priority? Quick ice, possibility of nimble and FTL. So in this meeting, um, I there were people that I just never have met before, right? Just, I've never, ne never seen them. And I wanted to stick with my friend because I, I didn't know anyone. And I felt like I, I just really wanted to be with my friend. I, I just didn't want to go anywhere else. So, um, she tells me, hey, um, we're going to get separated into groups. I can't be with you. And I'm like, what? So, I get abandoned. Um, and then I get pulled aside into a broom closet with five people I've never met before. And they sit me down and they're like, what do you want to do when you grow up? I didn't, I don't know these people. I was dragged into like, I was, it was a very tiny room, right? It was a very small room. And I was just trapped. Like, uh, 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 uh. I was stuck. And I, it was just, I was trapped in a closet and I couldn't get out. <sighs> and it was, I, I don't know. It was just weird. You know, it wasn't like weird, weird. It was just like, why am I in here? I don't even go to this place. I was going with my friend. Let's hit and run. They're gonna hit and run themselves though, no? Um, what do I want to do? I'm just going to not deal with this thing and just immediately go into this. I'd really rather not deal with the Grimantle today. Nice. That was completely pointless for them to do. Okay. They know I have Crunch. They're definitely not going to want to stay in. I can definitely Icy Slash, but then Al I mean, Alan's just going to come in anyway. I might as well just, oh, sick. Nice. I don't have to deal with this thing anymore. Dude, what is that sound? The fish tank. Yeah, there's a fish tank. Yeah, we have a fish. Ate a bunch of fishes. Um, you're gonna icy punch. I'm just gonna go glooby. Like, okay, now Grimantle's dead, but like, okay. I need to somehow click armor break, right? I need to do that somehow. But doing that is the the problem. It's hard for me to do that i'm just gonna goo blast why not i'm gonna i can live no i can't live earthquake i've got this thing on earthquake and i was like i can live one shatter and i just forget it has earthquake okay hi springling click leaf blade please you have four resists to plant you should not be able to lose to springling here glaze gash wow that was your worst switch I know you have quick ice, but would you even outspeed me? I have a higher base speed than you, and this runs attack. Yeah, bye. Well, that's one of the priority users dead, actually. Is this nimble? No, this is just dead. Almost. Ariel. Okay, if we kill this, we actually win immediately with Fenwick, which is awesome. Can we win instantly with Finwick, or will you go for the switch because you're a little lame? I guess that is, that, that, that is okay. The what is this voice? I hate it. Okay. Hit and run. Well, all I need to do is somehow get my armor break off safely. And doing that is the problem. I need to do it safely, getting myself on the field safely, but your team is slower than everything in the, like, why is your team slow? You're so slow for no good reason. Um, better move his Icy Slash. 
How did Flatney? Oh, shoot! I totally forgot about Melting Point. Not gonna lie. I forgot Melting Point was an ability. <laughs> I haven't fought a bubble in a while. I'm alive. Wow. Yeah, that is entirely my fault. I knew I should have clicked Crunch, but, you know, it was just... So smart. Yeah, don't make the same mistakes I do. Pay attention, because that was just me on autopilot, not clicking the right move at all. Nice. Well, freeze sucks now. What was the point of going to Jirasera? What was the point of that? <laughs> you just killed that for no reason. Alum, what is this gonna do? Are you gonna try to kill me? Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> oh, it's Riot Shield. Okay. It's time. But no, it's gonna hit me, obviously. What do I do? What can Finwick do here? He's gonna FTL after he hits me once. Maybe he'll sharpen. Maybe for whatever reason he'll sharpen. Solidified char- No, now I just get hit. Now I just get hit by FTL. Yeah. Dude, I- The priority, dude. Everything in this game has priority. I can't do anything. No! This is a nightmare. It's a nightmare, I tell you. I don't know what to do. Like, look. Priority, priority, priority. Three things that have priority. All of which are all by Clintel. Hmm. Annoying. I mean, actually, no, Springling is just crazy this game, I think. You know, I, I I can't get this fish to do anything. Why does that do 50? Why does it do 47? That is way too much. Fluffy sucks. It's lethal? That's the worst item you could possibly have on this thing. I guess I'll disarm. So... You're telling me you were willing to sack off Polar Geist had I clicked. People make no sense to me. Well, there was no logic in switching into that. There was literally no reason to do that. Whatever. Maybe he's insane. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna click Goo Blast. It makes sense that I took like 61 damage from that. He's not Sapphire. Not Glubby doing half your health. I really don't get the, the logic in the switch from Fluffy into Polar. Cause had I clicked Leaf Blade, you know, that you were just dead, right? This was dead immediately. There was no logic in Polar Geist. It was just, I have a super effective move, let me switch in. But even then, you have Glacic Ash, which has two super effective moves, right? So if you're going off of that logic, Glacic Ash is even better. You know, you're going to make a lot of sense to me, whoever you are. You're going to make a lot of sense to me. At all. None of it. N nothing you do will ever make sense and has ever made sense. I don't know how to get this fish to do anything because people never click like supportive moves. I swear, they always only want to click moves that like deal huge damage and I can't, I mean, I guess it's fine, but I really want to use this fish because if I can just get it off safely, it's going to work. Well, tattoo now? Yeah, maybe net, oh jeez. Jeez, you took a lot. Okay, um, um, I'm going to go into... What are the chances that you do- wait, that wasn't spiky. 
No, wait. He's gonna thunder. I'm gonna go Springling. This is a, a weird switch, but let's do it. Glacic Ash. Oh, maybe he was predicting my own Voltatu to come in. How, what do I do? What do I set up on? Like, that's the thing. What does Finwick set up on? Fluffy has the Aurora Flash. This has quick. As I, if I kill Fluffy, I win, right? I win immediately if I kill the Fluffy and I kill the Glacic Ash, right? That's all I need to do right now. My only goal is to kill these two things. Well, I guess now it's just like a Wolf Freeze comes in every single time and gets a free kill, right? Every time I get Vol I get this on the field, and I have Voltaggio, which can do that really, really easily. So I guess I just crunch. So yeah, he sacks this off. Do I get paralyzed, though? I'd love to not be paralyzed. Sick. Okay. Um... Well, from here, Wolf Freeze just cracked. Cracked out of his mind. Do, 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 do. Okay, uh, let's go into this. I'm a little bit worried. Like, dude, I would so love to pop off with Finwick, but it just doesn't really seem logical this game. Because you have Quick Ice, you have Fluffy. Like, the problem is all these priority users make it nearly impossible, right? Like, it makes it so hard to actually get Finwick on the field and doing solid work whenever you have these options that you have. I don't think you win in this endgame. You, you can't win against Wolf Freeze. Once I kill this, I get to Icy Slash. Actually, no, I would want to have, I need to kill Glacier Gash first. So you would probably want to keep this around. So you'd sack something off, go back into this, and then I would go into Jira, which then dies to Fiery. No, actually you could go, no, I go Jira, dies to Fiery, go into Finwick. Okay, so he sacks off his Fluffy, which that is fine. I need Wolf Freeze though. Well, Freeze wins the game, guaranteed. Okay, now I just go into this. I mean, I win immediately with Wolf Freeze whenever I do anything. Yeah, that's fine. Then I can go Finwick. Armor Break, Blessed Blade, they go into Gla Glacigash. I should get a kill no matter what with Finwick, though. Every time I should get a kill with Finwick. Going to Finwick. It's armor break. If he lets me armor break, I think I win, right? Now there's no way you have quick strike. Okay, now I get a guaranteed kill on something. Hypnotal could come in, but that has no priority. Lacey Gash dies, and this should die. Shoot. It's actually kind of scary. Because if he does end up having priority for whatever reason... Yeah, he doesn't have priority because he would have clicked it. How much does this do, actually? Shh. Sheesh. That's a lot. No. No. If I kill this, I lose. He needs to click Life Sap and not Psycho Force. No, but now he has Quick Ice with that. No. Uh, I tried to use Finn. He crits! Why do you. Why do I keep getting critical hit? This is just insulting. Why did my avatar not load? <sighs> well. That was intriguing. I definitely feel like Fimic is a little bit better than what I had showed, but there's so many things with priority, and this thing just takes a little bit of setup and just, it feels like you need too much to get it to work. And there's a lot of times where I could have won the game, but I wanted to try to win with Finwick. Then I get crit by Hypnodal that mattered, but hey, we're not gonna be talking about that because that guy's lucky and he's not good. But anyway, 
hopefully everyone enjoyed. <sighs> I don't know how I feel about Finwick. I don't know. Because I feel like I'm going to do a showcase tomorrow on Awaken Hypnoddle. And then it's just going to be completely broken, sweeping every single team that I fight. But then when I'm trying to showcase Hypnoddle, it's just going to be terrible. But who knows? Who knows what the future has in store? I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see everybody in the next one. Bye-bye.